Thank you. Thank you all so much. Hi. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I am super, super, super excited to be here today. I hope everyone used the break to get some coffee and freshen up because this has been a really long day and so many insights. I know personally that I'm going to go home and see what, you know, what of those insights I can actually implement. Uh, this has been a really great day. So moving forward, and um, as uh, Ola already introduced um, Israel as kind of the startup nation, uh, Israel is not very well known for its fashion. We do have some great fashion brands and fashion designers, uh, but we are definitely well known for our technology. And um, I'm going to talk to you today about seven fashion and retail tech trends that are uh, innovating the world of retail as we know it today, and the Israeli startups that are um, in the middle of this revolution. Uh, but a few words about fashion tech. So uh, fashion tech is uh, an innovation center for fashion and retail technologies, uh, bringing together 150 startup companies, uh, 1,500 people, investors, entrepreneurs, designers, and investors. Uh, our goal is to become uh, the go-to source for any brand retailer or investor who is looking to implement or invest um, uh, fashion technology or retail uh, technology, and to identify game-changing technologies and help them through gl uh, uh, grow and, and scale. So let's uh, dive right in and talk about those trends, right? Uh, so what do we have coming up in 2017? And if in the past um, fashion sales happened mostly in stores and then e-commerce came, right? And we keep hearing about how many uh, uh, shopping is transferred into the online world. Well, the next trend, which is actually already here today, is omnichannel. And today, the key to retail success is for brands to learn how to combine the online and the offline world into a seamless um, experience. And some of the startups that are in the means of this revolution are startups like Memo Me Screamo um, and My Story that are inventing uh, technologies to help uh, digitalize the in-store experience in order to increase food traffic. And you can see in this picture here, you can see a woman that's trying on a red dress, but in the mirror she sees herself in a green dress, and she can actually see herself in all the different colors that the brand has to offer without taking off and putting on different uh, dresses. And then the mirror can actually send her the video of the, the items that she tried on so that she can continue shopping from her mobile or later on when she's at home, comfortable in her bed. Um, so this is one trend. The next trend is AR and VR. And um, how many people here played Pokemon Go? Just wondering. OK, I see some hands. Who else? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. OK, quite a few people. Great. So uh, AR and VR technology helps uh, take people into a different experience than uh, the, the actual reality. And uh, the potential for this technology for shopping is is enormous because, uh, you know, shopping, to be honest, shopping is, uh, we talked a lot today about how people buy from desire and not necessarily because we need those things. This is some kind of a game for us. You know, as kids, we used to play dress up. We dressed our, girl, uh, our uh, dolls, we dressed our friends. Today, as grown ups, we play games by dressing ourselves, dressing up our kids. So uh, a few of the technologies that are helping people try on clothes without really trying them on are listed here. You all, uh, or at least some of you, saw the video that uh, Sean Johnson showed earlier about the Rebecca Minkoff uh, New York Fashion Tech um, uh, runway show, how people could, could um, use technology to try on and buy items from the runway in real time, that was actually leveraging an Israeli technology called Zikit. Um, Onisus is also enabling people to try on makeup and jewelry um, online, and V-Shops are developing um, a virtual mall where you can actually walk into stores, uh, see the outfits, try them on uh, without leaving your home. Then next, we have artificial intelligence and the whole chatbots industry. And who wouldn't want to have 
um, a personal assistant that would know exactly what you like, exactly what colors fit you, your size, your favorite stores, but also get updated with the current trends um, and new things coming up. And just have those you know, clothes and accessories pop into your store without really doing anything. So this is not the future of shopping, and this is already available to you today uh, with artificial intelligence and chatbots. And today you can use uh, bots in order to tell them what you like. You can even send them images, um, and they will just fetch everything for you. And you're going to hear more about that today uh, from Lee here, so I'm not going to expand on that. Um, so. Sustainability, that's a huge trend today, and brands are trying to constantly come up with ways to reduce waste um, and be more efficient with their production. Um, so a lot of different startups are currently reversing the shopping uh, um, uh, chain of logistics, and instead of first producing, selling, and then having people wear your fashion, today you can actually have people design and customize what they want to wear and only then produce it. And this is really possible today with technologies uh, like Schaff. Uh, Jewelbox is doing the same thing for jewelry. Today, each, each and every one of you can go on to Jewelbox, design your own piece of jewelry, and have it delivered in just a matter of days to your home door. Uh, you can design a, a present for a friend, which will be personalized. Um, in addition to, um, to that, uh, Rement is one of our startups who is using technology to create innovative materials that are, um, are made from recycled uh, materials, like the jacket that you see here in the picture and my purse that I brought here today. So if you want to take a closer look, just come to me later. Design. So um, a lot of designers still use pen and paper um, to sketch their designs, and then they have to move it into the production, which is a very long and complicated process. But in fact, a lot of uh, international brands uh, are already using Israeli technology in order to 3D design all of their items. Um, it takes much less time. It's more efficient. Designers can collaborate on the design together, and the best thing is that uh, the software can then cut the design into two, uh, into two dimensional um, um, sketches and send it to the factory, and that way you get the item back exactly as you imagined it and not have the back and forth with the factory. And then when we talk about logistics, um, from ordering the products to the store to shipping to the customer, technology is helping brands to make the whole uh, logistic process much, much more effi efficient uh, by optimizing first uh, mile delivery and last mile delivery and everything that's in between. And that also really helps to get a, a much better customer experience. So we all know that today Amazon has um, enormous power and they have same day delivery um, and people can order and get things directly to their home on the same day. But that's not the case for the smaller brands. Um, this is what this type of technology can bring to small brands, to designers who don't have the capacity to do, to handle um, a big logistics um, uh, process on their own. You can just hop onto those uh, platforms and have everything taken care of uh, yourself. Last but not least, wearable technology. We can't obviously go through the day without talking about that. And you see some of the startups downstairs that are really innovating uh, in this space. Um, a few of the I Israeli technologies that are working on, uh, in that space are considering also the social impact. Uh, for example, uh, 3D design jewelry that also contain a chip. Um, that, alert, uh, that can sense when the person wearing it is in danger and alert people around them. Uh, Orcam is actually designing glasses to help blind people read. And then Awer is helping brands figure out what happens to the items um, after they leave the store and provide analytics about where people use the items, how they use them, um, and how many times. So um, if you are impressed or if you're curious about what you heard today, uh, you're more than invited to join us at Fashtag Stage in Tel Aviv on September 5th. Um, and I'll be happy to talk about that a bit later. Yeah. <laughs>